Any dairy farm, whether you're in the United States, whether you're in Canada or in Europe or South America, the biggest cost is feed. We decided to call our program of testing for feed efficiency EcoFeed because we really believe this is the next revolution in genetics, the next revolution in how we will breed cattle in the future, and the ecological impact breeding efficient cows, which means less feed in, less manure out, less environmental impact, less carbon footprint. It all relates back to the economic and ecological benefits that eco-feed sired animals will have. Each animal here on the farm has an RFID tag that's her permanent identification. It is read by electronically every time she places her head into the node to eat. That is how the node keeps track of which heifer is eating, how long she is there to eat, and how much feed she intakes during her stay. Once a heifer enters into the, her head into the feed node, she is immediately captured and data on about that feed node is captured 12 times per second. It measures her length of stay. It measures to the gram, how many grams of feed that she ate in, during that visit. And it also measures the density at which she bites. It's very important as we reference the amount of feed intake that each heifer has, that it be compared to her growth. We have several ways that we monitor growth here during our EcoFeed trials. The first one is by weight. Each group is weighed one time a week. And then we also make measurements based on size at hip height and circumference of bone. Genomics and sex semen are proven technologies that deliver value to the end users while improving the livelihood of dairy producers. Knowing that feed costs on dairy farms represent up to 65% of total costs, ST Genetics has invested tremendously in research to be able to provide innovative technology which identifies and measures feed conversion in dairy cattle. This is what EcoFeed is all about. That's truly an EcoFeed efficient heifer, one that produces the desired yield on less feed. EcoFeed will be presented on a scale starting with 100 being the average. And for every 10 points above that would be a standard deviation. So plus one standard deviation uh, to the good side is 110, plus two standard deviations is 120. To view the listing of available EcoFeed designated sires, go to the ST Genetics website. Log on to stgen.com. Once landing to the home page, take your browser onto the Dairy tab, and from the drop down menu, click on Holstein. Once that page opens up, look for the EcoFeed tab. Click on it and then the EcoFeed designated sires will show up in that table. Because of the information we collect uh, ongoing, we see no correlation to a, a TPI, a net merit, an LPI. So in a sense, EcoFeed is, is the exciting index because it's itself, it's not correlated. And all of the data that we're collecting only, only amplifies its value within the, the segment of our dairy industry today because it's it's a dollars index. It's about finding the most efficient animals. And today, when you think of the cost of feeding animals, EcoFeed has, has an interest today, but it has a long-term interest as we gain more insight into it.